Welcome to this video on the BIM Server Center. BIM Server Center is a website used to manage, update and share all of the project files in the cloud. In this store we can download several apps for free. As you can see we can filter by HVAC installations and by energy analysis. In the info tab we can learn about the Open BIM workflow. In this video we're going to create the 3D model of the building in IFC Builder. We're going to use SiteTherm Loads to analyze the thermal loads in the building. We're going to use SiteTherm HVAC to add HVAC equipment into the building. And we're going to analyze the energy loads in SiteTherm E+. We are now going to open the IFC Builder. With the IFC Builder we can design the geometry easily. We can start from scratch to design the building as we are doing now, or we can also import a CAD template and draw above the template to design the building. The IFC builder is used to design walls, floors, windows, doors, and the roofs of the building. You can view the 3D model of the building as well. And once the geometry has been completed, we can export to the cloud. If we check the BIM Server Center, we can see that the IFC file has been updated. We are now going to open up SiteTherm Loads. SiteTherm Loads is used to analyze the heating and cooling loads in the building. We create a new file and we want to select the offices that we just created and we import the office block. We need to open each of the spaces and we need to select the design conditions which we wish to use. We need to select the correct value for ventilation so we open the ventilation library and we look for office space. Once we find office space we can select that and import that figure. It's important to define schedules for each of these options. We can define the schedules in two ways, as a constant percentage, or we can also create a daily profile. We can view the profile that we have created and we can edit it as we wish. Once we have finished with the spaces, we can move on to the facades of the building. We can view the walls that we have created and as you can see there is detailed information about each layer of the wall. The total heat transfer coefficient of the wall is automatically calculated and this will be used to calculate the thermal loads in the building. We need to create the screed for the building so we open it up and we can access the library of materials and we can select layer by layer which materials we want to use for the screed of the building. Once we have all the information we need in the building tab, we can move on to the thermal loads tab. And we can open up the location data. SiteTherm Loads has an internal weather database created by ASHRAE, so all we need to do is select the location and the data will be imported. Finally, we group spaces into zones and we press calculate to obtain the results. And here is the report for the project and inside this report we can view the peak load of each room and the total simultaneous load as well. We're now going to export this project to the cloud and open up SiteTherm HVAC. And again, just like when we were importing into SiteTherm loads, we want to select the BIM project as before. So we select the offices that we are working with. And the import has been completed and you can see that the 3D model has been imported and you can also see the thermal loads have been imported. All we need to do now in the HVAC software is simply select the equipment which we wish to use and place it where we want to use it. We've selected a VRF system here 
and we're now going to select an indoor unit with ducts. So we place the indoor unit in whatever room we want to place it and we now have to create the duct network. Notice that we're not selecting the size of the ducts or the power of any of the elements. This is because when we press calculate at the end, the software will do this work for us and will size the ducts and the elements appropriately. Once we've added all the equipment and connected them with pipes, we can calculate the results and we can see that the software has sized each of the equipments for us. All of these calculations are listed in the project report and in the table project compliance we can see that all the requirements have been met. We can view the duct report as well. We can view the size and diameters of each of the ducts and the materials used. If anything in the project changes the update button will flash we simply press the update button and everything in the project will update. After we've pressed the update button, we can see that there are a number of errors. To fix these errors, all we need to do is choose a bigger unit. We're now going to add a radiant floor. To add a radiant floor, all we need to do is select the design conditions. We uncheck the cooling box because we only want a heated radiant floor. Once we've selected the design conditions, all we need to do is highlight the area which we wish to add the radiant floor to, and press the radiant floor button and choose the pattern type. We also need to choose a manifold for the radiant floor. And we then select pipes to connect the manifold to the radiant floor. And we can view the report for the radiant floor and all the calculation information. And we can now see the updated 3D model for the project. And you can see the duct network and the radiant floor. We can now export this project back to the cloud and go into the BIM Server Center to see the changes. And you can see there's a Cypetherm HVAC file and a Cypetherm loads file. We can also invite a user to work on this project with us. We can give them a role and give them an area which we want them to work on. And we can send the invitation. We're now going to open up Cypetherm E+. And again, like before, we create a new project and we want to select the office building. We can see that the model has been imported correctly. And we now need to select our design conditions step by step. We start with the space types and we fill in all the necessary information for the spaces, including the ventilation for the building. If we select air conditioning systems, we can see that our Toshiba system has been imported correctly. And in each of the calculated zones, we can see each of the indoor units. And all of the units for all of the zones have been imported correctly. We're now ready to analyze the thermal loads in the building. So we select the conditions and we press calculate. And we can now see all the results that have been obtained. And we can view the demand report for the project. These reports can be exported in PDF format. We can also view a different report. We can view the description of materials and construction elements report. We've now completed the analysis for this building. We've added 3D geometry, thermal envelope and materials, HVAC equipment, and we've done an energy simulation all in the same BIM project. And if we go back into the BIM server center, we can see the final 3D model for the building and we can see all the elements that we've added. There's also a BIM Server Center app that's available to download. 
In the app, all your projects, files, and 3D views will be stored. If we open up the project that we were just working on, you can see the 3D view along with all the elements that we've created. Thank you for watching this video.